This is how to paint in watercolour, a super fast summary. You'll need watercolour paper, watercolour brushes, some watercolour paint, preferably in a palette, and jars of water. I always have two, that way I have a dirty water and a clean water jar. This is just cheap watercolour paper, so when you're starting out painting in watercolour, cheap watercolour paper is absolutely fine. To paint in watercolour you need a watercolour brush, it's designed to suck up water. I'm just going to wet my brush, dirty water, clean water. I'm going to pick up some of this and I'm going to begin to paint a really fast flower. A bit of water means that your paint will go a long way. I'm going to soften one edge. Because I'm painting on watercolour paper, I can soften and soften and soften that edge and take it out to nothing. It's a lovely method in watercolour. Okay, I'm going to paint another petal. I need to reload and I'm going to put a petal over on this side and quickly paint it in. You need water every time to get the paint to flow and now I'm going to soften and soften and soften this side of the petal. Okay, that's how you paint in watercolour. I've got two petals down. So cheap paper is just fine for when you're starting. When you get um, going and you're willing to spend a little more, start spending some more money on the paper and then start spending some more money on the paint you'll find that you will notice an enormous difference once you start painting on really lovely paper. If you're only gonna buy one brush to start off in watercolor, just buy a brush that is a round-ish shape, but it's the round shape with a point that's gonna give you all this um, incredible uh, flexibility. So I do paint with a range of shapes and sizes and things. Uh, there's another one there, a lovely flat brush, but you don't need that when you're starting out you need a round brush with a lovely point. It's gonna give you all this versatility. I'm now gonna swap colors. Um, so I'm gonna wash that pink off, dirty water, clean water, and I'm going to pick up some yellow on my palette. You can see that off to the left there. I'm gonna pick up some yellow. This is still damp here, and I'm now going to paint a yellow petal, really fast, fill it in. And then I'm going to um, grab a brush full of water and soften out that side and soften, soften, soften off. This is the other beautiful thing about watercolour is glazing one colour on top of another colour. I'm going to put another yellow petal over there, reload and put a big petal over there really fast. Watercolour is about painting quickly if you're painting in a wet in wet style. So you can see that here and here there's this beautiful overlap where one transparent colour has painted over another. And because watercolour is a transparent medium, I can paint one colour over another colour and get a new colour. So I've got this beautiful pink here and then I've got yellow on top of pink and I've got this beautiful orange mix in um, between. Thanks for joining me. That is a super fast summary of how to paint in watercolour.